Hello my beautiful people. I am back today with a eyeshadow tutorial for the Kim K inspired picture that I put up the other day um, on my Instagram. I said I like the heck out of this picture and I will do a tutorial on it and you guys like the heck out of it. So I'm going to do that today. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and print. I'm already wearing my foundation and contoured and blush and my eyebrows and everything else. So um, I'm going to start with my Fergie Wet n Wild Shimmer Eyeshadow Primer, which I love. It's just like a little shimmer. And if you see me look that way, there's a mirror over there. So I'm just going to pat that on my eye and just um, grab like a foundation brush. And this is the e.l.f. one. It was only a dollar. And I like to put my primer on with this brush just so that it evens it out nice. I like this primer because it lasts, my eyeshadow will literally last like all day. So, it's pretty cool. I'm going to be using my Kiss New York eyeshadow palette and it's just these neutral colors. I've showed it to all of you before. Um, it's one of my favorite things to reach for. It's kind of like the Naked 2 dupe. And this is the palette I used for that look that I put up the other day. So. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So I'm going to start with this neutral color right here. And I'm just going to use, I mean under my eyebrow, the high point of my eyebrow. So I'm going to use this contour shadow brush by Bare Essentials. And one thing about this palette is that it does have fallout. Um, so you have to be careful with it, but it's not like messy fallout. So I'm just using that as my highlight today. So for the crease, I'm going to use the lightest brown in here, and it's this color right here. Um, these colors don't have names. I mean, you can do this with any other palette you have. I'm pretty sure it'll come out nicer with the Naked too, but um, this is just the one that I reached for. Just so you guys can see how simple it is. Um, and I'm just putting that in the crease and blending it out. Oh, and the brush I'm using is this Soft Focus Eyeshadow Brush by Bare Essentials. It's going to be my transition shade. Next, I'm going to be using my, what is this? Okay. this is the MAC 217, it's a small blending brush, um, it came in like a little pack for Christmas, I think, and, it, and I'm going to reach for this darker brown color, right, that's right next to that light brown that I just used, and I'm going to focus that right in the crease. right under where I just added that other color. And then just drag it down, kind of make like a circle on your outer crease, um, going either inward or outward, so that it kind of goes in a V right here, your outer V, it looks something like that. This is just like a neutral, really laid back look, like an everyday look, and I really like this look, that's why when I saw it, I was like, ooh, you gotta try that. So, plus I really like Kim Kardashian and I don't know why. Everybody always asks me and I never have the answer. I mean, I love her fashion and her makeup mostly. Like, her makeup artist is amazing. 
But um, when I saw this, I was like, everyone can do that. So, I'm just going like this. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but every time I do eyeshadow tutorials, I um, tend to close both of my eyes when I'm blending. I don't know why. But and then I'm going to take my blending brush by Bare Essentials. It's the crease defining brush. Let's see if it focuses. Um, this is actually like my very um, favorite brush. This is like my favorite brush to use to blend. It's just this fluffy little thing and I'm obsessed with it but I don't know if you guys could tell when I flicked it right now it's like really flimsy from using it so much and I didn't think that that would happen with this brush because I don't know it's, it's lasted me a very long time so maybe it's a sign like Barbie go get a new one but I'm in love with it so for the the what the part that I left right here I'm gonna go in with my PH Cosmetics. Why did I go blank? Blank right there. Okay, with my BH Cosmetics um, brush. Um, these don't have numbers. That's the only thing that I don't like. But it's just this little, like, um, very hard bristled brush. And I'm going to use the light shimmery shade that's in here. Let's just put one right here. And um, put that right on the bottom in the middle of the eyelid. And just drag it down. Under, I'm going to go ahead with the brown, the lighter, the darker brown color that I used in the crease. With that same brush, I just kind of wiped it. I usually wipe it on a towel, but I wiped it on my sweats because that's what I'm wearing. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to go under my eye. Okay, and then with that shade that I used right in the middle of my eyelid, I'm going to do that in the inner corner of my eye and underneath. So, right here. And next is what is like the most important part. In the picture, she's wearing winged liner, so I'm going to do this Italia Deluxe Liner. Lately, I've been using my NYX, my NYX, my NYC one, but I don't know why I neglected this one as well, and I like it. It's waterproof. Um, so we're going to start creating the wing. Well, I'm going to start from the inside, work my way out. I love this eyeliner um, because it's so easy to create a wing with it. Um, you don't really have to like... So I already went ahead and applied my mascara um, on my top and bottom lashes. Um, I used my Voluminous Butterfly. You guys have seen that before. And she doesn't use black liner underneath, so I'm going to go in with my Scandalized Waterproof Coal Liner in the color Nude um, and just line my waterline with it. Um, as you can tell, um, it really brightens up your eyes and makes you look more awake. Oh, that's what it looks like. She's wearing fake eyelashes as she always does in every picture, but um, I really like the look with my natural lashes because, I mean, in my picture, I did put fake lashes on. I, I think it looks better with your natural lashes. 
you can go ahead and add your free lashes on however you want. If you want to see a tutorial on how to apply fake eyelashes, um, like this video and let me know. And um, I will do that for you next video. And this is what it looks like put together. Um, and then she's wearing a really nude lip in the picture as well. So I'm going to go in with my 902C Bear It All um, Wet n Wild lipstick. This whole line of lipsticks is so amazing. Um, I have been wearing my Brave Red MAC lipstick and it doesn't last me all day but it does kind of stain my lips but it leaves like that lip liner line. Yesterday I went to Disneyland and I applied my Wet n Wild Stoplight Red um, color by the Wet n Wild line and let me tell you guys that lipstick is two dollars well 180 something but compared to $14 for a lipstick that lipstick literally lasted me all night like I reapplied my Mac on top of it but the lipstick from that I wore underneath which was the stoplight red by wet n wild it lasted me all night I ate I drank I laughed I screamed I whatever in it and it just lasted me the whole time so you guys need really I recommend those wet n wild lipsticks if you don't want to of course um, splurge on the MAC ones, you guys can literally like try those out and you'll you, let me know in the comments below how it works out for you. The lip, the lip gloss that I just used was this nude color by Maybelline and it's the Toffee, Touch of Toffee 255 and it's just like the old school. This is the completed look. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see or, or a tutorial on how to apply fake lashes. Um, like this video and let me know. Um, if you guys have any questions or requests, leave them in the comments below or message me and find me on the interweb. I will link everything down below like I always do. Um, and as always, stay fab and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.